Welcome back to another video. I have got to finish wiring up the shed. Almost done. I just have one more connection to make, I'll show you. So I've just got to connect my AC out up to my changeover switch. I've already got them. Um, this is for backup power so I can plug into the generator. So I've already got that one wired up. This is the last connection to do. And let me show you something. This is very exciting. Whoa. What I've got done is the solar panels are up on the roof. How cool is that? So that frees up a lot of space over there. No longer have to use this thing. Very exciting. I've already tested all of the sockets and everything. So the power is working. I plugged the generator in before, but I thought I'd bring you along and show you the last few little bits. Uh, I just want to preface this video by saying I am not an electrician. So please do your own research and your own homework before you start trying to do anything that you see here. Um, I, I'm just self-taught from what I've learned on YouTube videos. So just know that if you're going to try following me, um, I would recommend you go to people who actually know what they're doing. Um, now, right. So now that I know everything's connected, secured, the wires aren't going to come loose. I'll put the take the blank out and fit this cover back on there we go and this door is annoyingly in the way of the screws but it's manageable Okay, now, actually I need to change the bit on this, one sec, one second, uh, we will go a little bit higher with that one, pretty fit. Yeah, that one fits a bit better. Sorry guys, just that. Oh, there we go, that's much nicer. Oh, that one's not secured. I left it a little bit loose for redoing this. And this there we go. Now, there's your changeover switch. There's all my earths going onto this Wago clip. And let me show you this now, how it all wires up. These come with the worst instructions of all time. Um, but I'll show you anyway. <laughs> uh, the power going in from uh power source like B let's say so power source B which in this case is my inverter or my um my generator sorry is going into terminals the live is going into three and the neutral into seven and then that's going over to four and eight right so three goes to four seven goes to eight Four and eight are going to jump with these jumper cables up to... Hello everybody, future Kyle here. Uh, well, past Kyle for you, but future Kyle for the Kyle that you just saw. Um, I... Well, let me flip this. I had these jumper cables swapped. It doesn't really make a difference what color they are, but... It was, annoy it was annoying me that they were swapped in when I was editing the video. So I had to come back in here, fix that. Now it's all good. And I, I can show you while we're here, because I... What I was filming earlier didn't really explain things properly, but if you see, it's drawn in two ways. So SC would be the main power coming in from the solar panels. So the live line goes to T1, 
see there, T1 and T5. My uh, generator power, so the live goes to T3 and the neutral to T7. So you can see that there, 3 and 7. And then for the house power, you've got line going from T2 to T4. So there's T2 to T4. And the neutral is T6 to T8, T6, T8. And then that, also, then that connects to the consumer unit. Just, just so you know. So how it works here then is when you flip the switch. Uh, and if I balance this here, maybe it's better for you. So the lot, the power runs through from T1, T5, T2, T6 and straight through the house. And when you flip the switch, then it changes and this switch is off, these engage, and then they use the jumpers to get to T2 and T6 and then into the house. So, now you know, and now the wires are correct and we can get back into what you were watching. <laughs> Two and six. And power source, and then two and six also connect through into the consumer unit. And this consumer unit, the power goes. So this is the power going out into all the sockets, out through here, through the sockets and the ring, and then the ring returns back in there. And then this is just for a light that goes into my workshop room. So I just need to run this wire that I just wired up through here into here there we go so that's out now i've got to put a, a gland on there and start feeding the wires in right now it's disconnected and now i'm looking at this you see in this side there's a little brass plate uh, this one doesn't have, or a copper plate, I should say. This one doesn't have that. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to have to strip off a little bit more of this and double it over. So I'll just got to make sure I get a nice strong connection there. So bear with me a second. Right, so having these doubled over will just give better contact. There you go. So you can see them are folded over. And now, I can put this in here and screw that tight. And check it, it's not coming out. Next one is in as well. And finally, I can connect this Wago clip here. Which are very easy. Just slide that in and clip it. Done. So that's all good. I can clip this back onto the rail. Done. Right. Now I just need to screw this back in. And we're good. Right. Now we are back over at the inverter. And the batteries, you can see I've got a 100% battery in there. So I just need to, there's a switch under here, switch this on. Actually, maybe I'll switch that on at. So if I switch, uh, so that's power going in from the solar panels. That's my kill switch. There's a switch under here, so if I flip that, let's see. Power's on. Amazing. So, the batteries are sending power to the inverter, which is changing it over to AC power. And if I put my AC out, 
happy days. So I can close this. Closed. Come up to my changeover switch. So two is for backup power, zero is neutral, one is for my solar panels. This is the moment of truth. That should be my power on. So we're gonna go test that. Whew. Right, let's go. All right, I've got my battery charger here. Hopefully, we'll see a light turn on when I flip the switch. No. All right, figured out what went wrong. Uh, so when I was fiddling with this and hooking up the changeover switch, this is very loose. And obviously I twisted the, the cable enough that the copper snapped. So I just need to reconnect this and we are all good. That's it. There we go. Now, there we go. Now, yeah, so that's why you need to have these clips, but I ran out of them, so it is what it is. I'll uh, see if I can think of something. I'll, um, what can I do? I can, I can put, okay, maybe it's better yeah, if I put this here. I'll just put that there for now. And I have some cable ties here. I'll just kind of keep that somewhat in place. Then, just less movement until I get my clips tomorrow. So yeah, if I put one cable tie there, and another one around this, and through that. And we should be good. Uh, this is a bit awkward. There, all right. So that'll hold it still. Whew, all right. Okay, we're back. The moment of truth. We've got power. Amazing. All right, everybody, the power's on. The solar panels are safe and up on the roof. I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time. But I'm gonna have to leave it here because I'm exhausted. I'll be up on the roof one more time, put the stove in, but that's, that's gonna be another one. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.